Good morning. In this video, I'm going to discuss uh, the steam table, how to read value from the steam table, and also some tips uh, on how to use the steam table. So let me share the PowerPoint. Okay, so this is the steam table from our reference book, uh, Introduction to Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics by Smith and Van Ness. So we'll start with saturated steam and the numbers here have SI units. <clears throat> so as you can see, the specific volume has a unit open. Uh, cubic centimeter per gram, while the enthalpy or the specific enthalpy has a unit of kilojoules per kilogram. While the entropy or the specific entropy is in kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. So <clears throat> generally in using the saturated steam, uh, you, you need to, you need to have the temperature no <clears throat> you specifically use this this part of the uh, steam table when when you are given the temperature and also uh, the steam is given to be saturated so as you can see uh, the temperature columns contains temperature data a uh, whole number in degree celsius the pressure, on the other hand, is in is in three decimal places. So generally, we are using the enthalpy and the entropy. So right here we have the enthalpy of saturated liquid on this column, and then over here is the enthalpy of saturated vapor. Tapos ito yung unit niya, ano? kilojoules per kilogram. <clears throat> the difference between the enthalpy of saturated vapor and saturated liquid is the delta H of evaporation. Or basically, you just subtract is the enthalpy of saturated liquid from the enthalpy of saturated vapor, you're going to get the enthalpy of uh, evaporation, delta H of evaporation. <clears throat> so it goes the same, the same with the entropy. You know? We have in this column, we have the saturated vapor and then on this column, we have the saturated liquid entropy. And then the difference is the delta S of evaporation. So again, what is important here? The important thing here is if you are given temperature, so example, you are given 10 degrees Celsius, and it is also specified that uh, the steam is saturated, you're going to use this part of the table. Okay. Now, the next part of the table is the superheated steam. If you are given pressure, and then it is also stated that this is saturated steam, uh, it's easier to use this part of the, of the steam table. Because as you can see, uh, the pressure is given in an exact amount, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40 kilopascal. So you don't need to interpolate if you are given exact value. So you might be asking, why am I going to use the superheated part of the steam table when I am given a saturated steam? The saturated steam values are also available in this part of the table. Okay, So this is for saturated liquid. This is the values for saturated liquid. And these are the values for saturated vapor. So it is also, the saturated value are available on this part of the table also. Yung nga lang, uh, we have an exact pressure. So whenever you have an exact pressure, you could use the superheated steam SI unit. Okay? 
So, on the third part of the steam table, we have the saturated steam English units. So, for example, you are given degrees Fahrenheit, exact degrees Fahrenheit. It is easier to use this part of the steam table to determine uh, whether the specific volume, ito isa pa tong ginagamit din, ano? <clears throat> Minsan, specific volume yung tinatanong o kailangan nating hanapin na data. So, pag temperature yung given, halimbawa, exact tong uh, 44 degrees Fahrenheit, tapos saturated steam siya, ito yung gagamitin yung part ng, ano, ng steam table. <clears throat> So, halimbawa, kailangan nyo ng pressure in PSIA. So, yun, madali lang makita dito. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-interpolate. So, saturated volume. Yun, kita nyo, may column for saturated vapor at saka may column for saturated liquid. <clears throat> Kung kailangan nyo ng enthalpy ng saturated steam, yun, may column for saturated vapor at saka may column for saturated liquid. Ganun din sa entropy. Ano? So, ang units, pag specific volume, ang units dito ay cubic feet per pound mass. Pag naman enthalpy, ang unit ay BTU per pound mass. Pag entropy, ang unit ay BTU per pound mass per long time. Okay? So yung last and fourth part of the steam table is the superheated steam. Okay? Superheated steam in English units. So just like the just like the ano, superheated steam SI unit, uh, this particular table contains exact value for pressure. So, pag pressure yung given, tapos exact value, limbawa, 10 PSIA. No? So, mas madaling ito yung gamitin para hindi na kayo mag-interpolate. So, nandito rin kasi yung ano, meron din dito values ng saturated liquid at saka saturated vapor. Tapos, we have here the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? So, with this knowledge, um, Let's try to justify some equation para makasolve tayo ng problem. Uh, halimbawa, we have a two-phase liquid vapor system. <clears throat> so when we have a two-phase liquid vapor system, uh, we have here the equation, ano, the first, our first equation. So imagine niyo, halimbawa, you have uh, L, NL, number of moles of liquid, and NB, number of moles of vapor. Now, to find the total volume or N times V, this is equals to NL times specific volume of liquid plus NB times specific volume of vapor. Diba? Ano naman to? Uh, parang obvious. Ano? Diba? Obvious naman to. Kung baga may imagine nyo naman. Or, yun, it's volume. Ano? Siyempre kung ilan yung, kung gaano, paano kalaki yung volume ng, ng gas or ng vapor, Tapos add nyo lamang dun sa volume ng liquid, you, you're going to get the total volume no, ng system. Or, syempre, pag alam nyo yung specific volume ng liquid, multiply nyo lang ng, uh, this is not specific, this is smaller, no? uh, kasi N, no? this is number of moles. So, multiply nyo lang ng number of moles ng, ng, ano, ng liquid. Uh, so, ito yung total volume ng liquid. Ganun din sa, ano, no, sa, sa vapor, yung this is the molar volume. Yung molar volume ng vapor, multiply nyo lamang ng uh, number of moles ng vapor, you, you will get the total the total volume of the vapor or the gas. So, you, then you add the two, you will get the total volume of uh, the system, NV. No? And then, if you're going to transpose N on the other side of the equation, so basically, we have here V. So, V here is the average molar volume. No? O kaya naman, this is the average specific volume. So, ito magiging uh, N sub L over N, that, that is X sub L. Or parang mole fraction siya ng liquid. Ano? Yun namang N sub B over B, pwede naman, magiging X sub B naman. So, itong X sub B, we have a special term for this. X sub B is known as quality in, in chemical engineering thermodynamics. Ano? So, X, X or X sub B is known as quality. So quality is basically uh, the mole fraction, ano?
the mole fraction of vapor in the system. <clears throat> okay? So, kasi dalawa lang naman yan, ano? Uh, liquid lang naman at saka vapor sa term and thermodynamics. We don't usually consider yung solid, no? Liquid, fluids lang kasi to, ano? So, we can, uh, ano lang yan, ano? Yung quality, yung XB, plus yung XL, I equals sa 1. So we can we can replace XL with 1 minus XB. So that's why we have this equation. Okay, so I'll call it a total volume. So sa volume tayo nagsimula, ano kasi madaling ma-imagine ang volume, di ba? Alam nyo, na-imagine nyo yung volume, madali siyang ma-imagine. So, parang bawa, pag may 1 liter ka ng coke, di ba, na-imagine nyo kung gaano kadami yun, ano? Kung may isang baso ka ng tubig, na-imagine nyo kung gaano kadami yun. So, madali kasi siyang ma-imagine, kaya dun tayo nagsisimula. Pero actually, yung concept na yan ng quality, you can, you can extend that to any thermodynamic concept. So, for example, uh, enthalpy. You can, you can treat it like volume, no? So, ibig sabihin nun, ang sinasabi ko lang naman sa inyo, na itong equation na to, valid din siya sa ibang thermodynamic property. M is any thermodynamic property. So, example, uh, enthalpy, no? entropy. So, valid din itong equation na to. So, alimbawa, sa enthalpy, H is equals to 1 minus X times HL plus uh, HB times X. Ganun, ano? Sa S naman, ganun din. Ano? So, no, SL times 1 minus X, X is quality, plus SB times X. So usually, ito yung mga gamit natin sa equation. No, no, aside from the specific volume. Okay? So let's proceed. Okay? So let's try to solve example 6.7. Superheated steam originally at P1, T1. Okay? So we have different values for P1 to T1. Expands through a nozzle to an exhaust pressure of P2. No, so for, for for letter A, for example, initially we have one thousand kilopascal, so S I to ano, and then the initial temperature is two hundred fifty degrees Celsius. Tapos we let it expand, having having expand, um, we try to lower the pressure, no, using a nozzle. So the 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 final pressure is equal to two hundred kPa. <clears throat> Assuming that the process is reversible. Tandaan nyo ba ba pag, pag reversible yung process? Anong nagsisiro? So pag reversible yung process, and adiabatic, ang zero ay delta S. Okay? So zero yung delta S. Ano? Reversible kasi siya. Determine the downs, downstream state of the steam and the delta H for the following condition. So basically, gagamit tayo ng steam table. No? Doon kasi given yung P1 at saka T1, mahanap natin yung, using this thing table, mahanap natin yung H1, yung enthalpy 1, at saka yung S1, entropy 1. Tapos, equal lang naman, constant kasi yung entropy kasi reversible siya. So, gamitin natin yung 200 kilopascal na P2, tapos yung S2, kung ano yung nakuha natin sa S1. So, meron tayong dalawang property. With, with those two properties, we can calculate uh, H2, and then we can calculate delta H. And also, pag meron din kayong um, values, you can also calculate x using the uh, using the quality equation, na? So I, I'm going to share the uh, I'm going to share a whiteboard, na para mas malino yung solution natin. So 
so we're trying to solve uh, example 6.7. Okay, we're on chapter 6. <clears throat> uh, tapos we have a nasal. So nasal I yung ito yung illustration. Tapos P1 is 1,000 kilopascal. Tapos T1 is 250 degrees Celsius. Tapos P2 is 200 kilopascal. So, usually we use capital T. Sorry, sorry for this. <clears throat> so, just try to, anong gagamitin natin part ng steam table? Meron tayong given na 1,000 kilopascal tapos yung temperature niya is 250 degrees Celsius. Usually, pag ganitong case, pag dalawa yung given, meron kang pressure tapos meron kang temperature. This is superheated. So, pag superheated, so superheated talaga yung gagamitin niyo kasi walang data dun sa saturated ng superheated. So, tapos SI siya. So, dun kayo. Ano? So, basically, hanapin nyo lang muna yung 1,000 kilopascal. Tapos 1,000 kilopascal uh, data is available at different temperature. Tapos, uh, walang eksaktong 250. Meron 240 at saka 260. So, basically, ang gagawin nyo, yung data sa 240 at saka 260, i-divide nyo ng 2 to get H1. So, H1, you can confirm this, ano? Mag-practice tayong gumamit ng steam table. So, at 240, uh, 2920.6 uh, kilojoules per kilogram yung enthalpy. This is at 240, ano? This, this enthalpy is at 240. Tapos, sa uh, 260 naman is 2965.2. You can confirm this from your, ano? Uh, still kilojoules per kilogram from your steam table. I hope you get the steam table. Tapos divide lang natin ito ng 2. So H1 is 2942.9. Tapos S1. S1 is, ganun din, ano? Uh, S1 for 240 is 6.8825. Okay, ito naman ay kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. Tapos, uh, this is the 240. Yung 260 data ay 6.9680. The same unit, ano? Kilojoules per kilogram. Tapos, divided by din ng 2. So, ang S1 natin ay approximately 6.9253 or 6.9252, ano? sa point, 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 two, point kasi yan. <clears throat> sa libro 52 sa okay ito yung nakalagay sa libro okay tapos kasi ang process natin ay reversible so pag reversible yung process ang consequence nun ang delta S is equals to 0 so because of this so therefore ang S2 ay equal sa S1. This is also 6.9252. No? Kilojoules per kilogram. So punta kayo dito sa 200 kPa sa steam table. No? Hanapin nyo dun sa uh, superheated part. Hanapin nyo yung 200 kPa. Kasi yung, yung superheated part, eksakto yung pressure nun. Ito, eksaktong pressure. So, ano? so punta kayo dun sa superheated part na SI. Okay? Punta kayo dun. Tapos hanapin nyo yung 200 kilopascal. Tapos hanapin nyo kung nasaan yung 6.9252. So makikita nyo, in between yung 6.9252 sa saturated liquid at saka saturated vapor. So wala pa siya dun sa mga temperature, no? hindi pa siya superheated. Kasi ang, ano, ang saturated liquid entropy at 200 kPa ay 1.5301. Okay, so alam niyo na naman yung unit nito. Ano? Tapos ang saturated vapor naman at this pressure, 200 kPa, is 7.1268. So pakiconfirm yun na lang. Ano? 
kung meron kayong spin table. So, gagamitin natin yung ano, yung quality equation. So, ang sabi ng quality equation, S is equals to SL times 1 minus X plus SB times X. Substitute natin yung value natin ng S. This is S2. 6.9252 is equal to itong SL. 1.5301 okay, times 1 minus X. Quality yung inahanap natin. Ano yung X? Tapos plus 7.1268 okay, times X. So X is in your calculator, you should be able to get something like 0 0.9640. So, ito yung sagot sa tanong, ano, ano daw ba yung state ng steam after passing the nozzle? So, pag ganyan, no, uh, less than 1 yung quality, ibig sabihin, merong part ng steam na naging liquid. No? So, pag ganito, ang tawag dito ay wet steam. May liquid kasi. Okay. <clears throat> Probably for Bayon, Andu. So, yan ano, wet steam. <clears throat> okay. So, sana na intindihan nyo, no? Relatively madali lang naman. So, ang susunod natin isosolve ay yung uh, delta H. So, ang delta H is basically H2 minus H1. Meron na tayong H1. Ito na yung H1 natin. So, ang gagawin natin, ikakalculate natin yung H2. So, kasi yung, yung quality equation valid din siya sa enthalpy. So, gagamitin natin yung quality equation similar to this one. Ano? So, probably we're going to erase this part. para ma-solve natin yung H2. Tapos yung delta H. Ano? So, So, we're going to calculate H2. So, we're going to use this equation. H2 is equals to HL times 1 minus X plus HB times X. So, from, from using this thing table, HL, HL is 504.701. Oh Siyempre, ganun pa rin yung unit. Yun ano, kilojoules per kilogram. Tapos, 1 minus, ito yung x natin, 0.9640. Okay. Plus, HB. HB from the steam table is 2706.3. etong 2706.3, galing ito dun sa 200 kPa. Okay. Tapos, saturated. 
day 4. No? Yung sa column na yun. So, hanapin nyo muna yung 2,000 kPa, 200 kPa, sorry. Tapos, saturated day 4. No? <clears throat> so, H, H to ano? Enthalpy. Okay, so this is Hb. Tapos, multiply nyo to ng x, 0.9640. So, makukuha nyo ang H2 ay equal sa 2627.04. Okay? So right now, we can calculate delta H. Delta H is simply H2 minus H1. So H2 is 2627.04 minus 2942.9 kilojoules per kilogram. So ang delta H natin for this problem is Negative 315.86 kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, so I hope ma-practice yung gamitin yung speed table. Okay. <clears throat> Tapos, I'm going to leave you with a, an exercise and using the steam table. Tapos, see you in the next video. So, next video, chapter 7 na tayo. Ano? We're going to solve uh, different problems on chapter 7. So, dito na lang muna. See you in the next video.